A train operating company is a business operating passenger trains on the railway system of Great Britain under the collective national rail brand. TOCs have existed since the privatisation of the network under the Railways Act 1993. There are two types of TOC, most hold franchises let by the government, following bids from various companies, to operate services on certain routes for a specified duration, while a small number of open access operators hold licenses to provide supplementary services on chosen routes. These operators can run services for the duration of the license validity. The franchised operators have changed considerably since privatization. Previous franchises have been divided, merged, re let to new operators, or renamed. The term is also sometimes used to describe companies operating passenger or freight rail services over tracks that are owned by another company or a national network owner. Management Franchises were initially let by the Office of Passenger Rail Franchising This was in turn replaced by the Strategic Rail Authority, which has since been abolished. For England and Wales, franchising is now the responsibility of the Department for Transport in the majority of cases. In Scotland, it is the responsibility of the Scottish Government. In two parts of England, local government agencies are responsible. In Merseyside, the Merseyside Passenger Transport Executive lets the Merseyrail franchise, while in London, Transport for London oversees the new London Overground and Crossrail concessions. The Rail Delivery Group (RDG), formerly the Association of Train Operating Companies, provides a commonality for the TOCs and provides some centralized coordination. Its activities include the provision of a national timetable and online journey planner facility, and the operation of the various railcard discount schemes. Eurostar is also a member of the RDG, though it is not itself a TOC. Organization For historical and geographical reasons the railway network of the United Kingdom is split into two independent systems, one in Great Britain including the Isle of Wight, and one in Northern Ireland, which is closely linked to the railway system of the Republic of Ireland. Great Britain In Great Britain, passenger train services are operated by a number of companies, referred to as train operating companies or TOCs, normally on the basis of regional franchises awarded by the Department for Transport Rail Group. Until 2005 this role was performed by the Strategic Rail Authority. The infrastructure of the railways in England, Scotland, and Wales, including tracks and signalling, is owned and operated not by the train companies but by Network Rail, which took over responsibility from Railtrack in 2002. Most passenger trains are owned by a small number of rolling stock companies and are leased to the individual TOCs. However, a handful of TOCs own and maintain some of their own rolling stock. Train operating companies also operate most of the network stations, in their role as station facility owners SFO, in which they lease the buildings and associated land from Network Rail. Network Rail manages some major railway stations and several stations are operated by London Underground or other companies. All passenger TOCs in Great Britain are privately owned. The majority of these hold franchises to operate rail services on specific parts of the railway and come under the auspices of the national rail brand. In addition, companies are able to bid for «paths» specific parts of the overall national rail timetable to operate their own services, which the franchises do not operate. These operators are classed as open access operators and are not franchise holders. Currently in Great Britain, there are two open access operators, Hull Trains runs services between London King's Cross and Hull, and Grand Central, which operates between London King's Cross and Sunderland and between London King's Cross and Bradford. In addition, there are operators that fall outside the purview of National Rail, which operate specific services which are recent additions to Britain's railways. The main examples are Eurostar, which operates to the continent via the Channel Tunnel, and Heathrow Express, which runs fast services from London to Heathrow Airport. 
A number of metropolitan railways on the network are operated by the local franchise holder in conjunction with the passenger transport executive or other civic body responsible for administering public transport. One of these bodies, the Merseyside Passenger Transport Executive, is responsible for one of three national rail franchises not awarded by central government, namely the Merseyrail franchise, while certain national rail services in North London came under the control of Transport for London in November 2007 as London Overground. Two other franchises, the Scottish National Franchise, currently operated by Abellio Scotrail, and the Welsh Domestic Franchise, operated by Arriva Trains Wales, are awarded by the devolved governments of the two constituent nations. The Rail Delivery Group is the coordinating body of the train operating companies in Great Britain and owns the National Rail brand, which uses the former British Rail Double Arrow logo and organises the common ticketing structure. Many of the train operating companies are in fact parts of larger companies which operate multiple franchises. Topic: <laughs> Current operators. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Northern Ireland. The sole train operating company in Northern Ireland is NE Railways, who are a subsidiary of TransLink, the publicly owned transport corporation, which also runs the Metro buses in Belfast and Ulsterbus coaches around the country. The cross-border service enterprise Belfast Dublin is jointly operated with Ironrod Airan, the national railway company of the Republic of Ireland. Changes. Upon privatisation in 1994, the three passenger operating sectors of British Rail Intercity, Network Southeast and Regional Railways were divided, and their existing operations were led as 25 franchises. <laughs> 1990s The privatisation process began when BR's passenger sectors were divided into 25 shadow franchises, these were publicly owned TOCs operating in the planned franchise areas prior to the actual franchises being put to tender. The opening of the Channel Tunnel saw operations by Eurostar begin from London Waterloo to Paris and Brussels. The franchising process was implemented, with various private companies taking over the shadow franchises. Three were awarded to management buyouts. The Great Western Holdings Management also were awarded the North West Regional Railways franchise. The remainder were divided between a handful of major transport operators. In Northern Ireland, NEAR stopped using its own branding on the enterprise service between Belfast and Dublin when it purchased new rolling stock in conjunction with EA, instead launching Enterprise as a separate brand name. Topic: 1998. Great Western Holdings that operated Great Western Trains and North West Trains, became a 100% First Group subsidiary when the 24.5% shareholder bought out its partners. The TOCs were renamed First Great Western and First North Western. Virgin Group sold a 49% share in Virgin Rail Group that operated the cross-country and West Coast franchises to Stagecoach. The completion of the rail link to Heathrow Airport led to Heathrow Express, an open access operator outside the franchising system, beginning its services from London Paddington to Heathrow with operating rights until 2023. 2000 Prism Rail that operated the LTS Rail, Valley Lines Trains, Wales and West, and West Anglia Great Northern franchises was purchased by National Express resulting in the latter owning nine franchises. The first open access operator, Hull Trains, commenced running its services between King's Cross and Hull. Topic 2001 to 2003. 
Topic 2001 In 2001, Connex, which had operated two franchises in the southeast of England, were replaced as the operator of the Network South Central franchise by Govia, who began operating it under the name South Central. Also in 2001, a new franchise, the Wales and Borders franchise, was created by the amalgamation of Valley Lines and the majority of services in Wales and the borders held by Wales and West. The new franchise was initially operated under the name Wales and Borders. The remainder of Wales and West services in the west of England were renamed Wessex Trains. Topic 2003. Connex, having already lost the South Central franchise in 2001, was removed as franchisee of the South Eastern franchise in 2003 on the grounds of poor financial management. It was replaced as the franchise holder by South Eastern Trains, a company wholly owned by the Strategic Rail Authority, which would operate the franchise until it could be tendered again. New franchise holders Arriva Trains Wales and Merseyrail began operating. First group purchased GB Railways which owned the Anglia Railways and Hull Trains businesses. 2004–2006 Topic 2004–2006 a policy where the majority of services both long distance and commuter from each London terminal would all be operated by the same franchise was partially enacted. In April 2004, one commenced operating the Greater Anglia franchise that combined the Anglia Railways and First Great Eastern franchises with the West Anglia Great Northern services radiating out from Liverpool Street. The remainder continuing to be operated as WAGN. In the same month, Thames Trains was superseded by First Great Western Link. In the north of England, prior to 2004 there were two regional franchises, the North East Regional Franchise and the North West Regional Franchise. In 2004, these were altered into the Transpennine Franchise, for intercity services, and the Northern Franchise, for local services that were awarded to First Transpennine Express and Northern Rail respectively. Some North West services were transferred to the Arriva Trains Wales franchise. Topic 2005. A new operator, Heathrow Connect, jointly run by BAA and First Great Western, began operating stopping services between London Paddington and Heathrow Airport, complementing the Heathrow Express. Topic 2006. Three new integrated franchises began operating in April 2006. First Capital Connect began operating the Thameslink Great Northern franchise on the Cross London Thameslink route and suburban services from London Kings Cross and London Moorgate. First Great Western began operating the Greater Western franchise that combined express and local services from London Paddington to the west of England by amalgamating it with First Great Western Link and Wessex Trains. Southeastern commenced operating the integrated Kent franchise taking over services from London Victoria, London Charing Cross, London Cannon Street and London Blackfriars to southeast London and Kent, responsibility for high-speed domestic services operated on High Speed 1 from London St Pancras was included in the franchise. 2007 to 2010. Topic 2007. Further integrations occurred in 2007. The first of these was the South Western franchise. This merged the original South West Trains franchise with the Island Line Trains franchise on the Isle of Wight and began operating in February 2007 under the name South West Trains, with Island Line retained as a separate brand. In November 2007, three new integrated franchises began operating. Cross Country took over from Virgin Cross Country and parts of Central Trains, and operates regional intercity services that bypass the major London terminals. 
East Midlands trains replaced Midland Mainline and parts of Central trains encompassing intercity services from London St Pancras as well as local services in the East Midlands London Midland began operating the West Midlands franchise replaced Silverlink County and parts of Central trains and operate stopping services between London Euston and Northampton, in addition to local services in the West Midlands In addition to these three, a further new operator, London Overground Rail Operations, took control of the routes operated by Silverlink in London, which were combined with the extended East London Line in 2011. Services are controlled directly by Transport for London, with running of the trains themselves contracted to a private company as an operating concession. This is different from an ordinary franchise, as the train operator is not given control of the strategic aspects of the operation, such as pricing, timetabling and rolling stock procurement. In December 2007, National Express East Coast took over the running of the Intercity East Coast franchise from GNER. Grand Central also began operating iServices between London and Sunderland as an open access operator. 2008 In February 2008, one was rebranded by National Express as National Express East Anglia to bring it into line with the East Coast franchise. In April 2008, Wrexham and Shropshire began operating open access services between Wrexham and London Marylebone. In June 2008, the Gatwick Express franchise was integrated with the South Central franchise operated by Southern. Topic 2009. The government announced that National Express East Coast would have their franchise to operate intercity services along the ECML terminated, with the franchise passing into the hands of public sector company directly operated railways, which acted as the parent for East Coast. Topic 2010. Grand Central Open Access Services from London to Bradford began on 23 May 2010. 2011 to 2015 2011 Owing to continuing losses, Wrexham and Shropshire ceased operating on 28 January 2011. 2012 Abilio Greater Anglia began operating the Greater Anglia franchise on 5 February 2012. In September 2012, First Group was awarded the right to operate the West Coast franchise, which provoked a backlash from incumbent Virgin Trains. As a result of the Department for Transport having provided incorrect information during the bid process, the offer was withdrawn in October 2012 and £40 million of bid costs refunded. 2014 In September 2014, Govia Thameslink Railway took over services formerly operated by First Capital Connect as part of the Thameslink, Southern and Great Northern franchise and branded them as Thameslink and Great Northern. 2015 In March 2015, a stagecoach and Virgin joint venture trading as Virgin Trains East Coast commenced operating the Intercity East Coast franchise. In April 2015, the Scotrail franchise was split with the Caledonian Sleeper Services becoming a standalone franchise operated by Serco while the remaining services remained as the Abilio Scotrail franchise. In May 2015, a number of metro routes run by Abilio Greater Anglia from London Liverpool Street were transferred to TfL to run as a concession similar to both London Overground and Crossrail under the name, TfL Rail. The routes transferred were those to Shenfield, Enfield Town, Chingford and Cheshunt. 2016–2018 2016 
In April 2016, First Group Trading as Transpennine Express commenced operating the Transpennine Express in its own right, previously having done so in a joint venture with Keolis. On the same date, Arriva Rail North commenced operating the Northern franchise. In November 2016, Arriva Rail London took over the London Overground concession from London Overground Rail Operations. Topic. 2017 In March 2017, Abilio sold a 40% share in Abilio Greater Anglia to Mitsui. In August 2017, a first group, MTR joint venture trading as South Western Railway commenced operating the South Western franchise. In December 2017, an Abilio East Japan Railway Company and Mitsui joint venture trading as West Midlands Trains commenced operating the West Midlands franchise. 2018 In May 2018, the government announced that Virgin Trains East Coast's contract would be terminated early due to financial difficulties. In June, the company was replaced by the government-owned London North Eastern Railway. In October 2018, Transport for Wales took over the Wales and Borders franchise from Arriva Trains Wales. Current TOCs As of October 2018, there are 24 train operating companies. Franchised Abilio Scotrail C2C Caledonian Sleeper Chiltern Railways Cross Country East Midlands Trains Greater Anglia including Stansted Express Great Western Railway London North Eastern Railway Merseyrail Northern Southeastern South Western Railway including Island Line TFL Rail Elizabeth Line Transpennine Express Transport for Wales Virgin Trains West Midlands Trains Trading as West Midlands Railway and London Northwestern. Topic: Managed. Operators paid to run trains does not collect the fares. Arriva Rail London. Govia Thameslink Railway Trading as Gatwick Express, Great Northern, Southern and Thameslink. Topic: Open access operators. Eurostar, Grand Central, Heathrow Express, Hull Trains. Topic: Future TOCs. Topic: Franchised. In 2017, the DFT announced that the Intercity West Coast franchise will be replaced by the West Coast partnership that will include High Speed 2 services. Topic: <laughs> Open Access Operators. East Coast Trains have been granted permission to operate services on the East Coast Main Line between London King's Cross and Edinburgh from May 2021. Great North Western Railway have been granted permission to operate on the West Coast Main Line between London Euston and Blackpool from September 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rail Tours. The privatisation of British Rail allowed the introduction of open access operators, in which companies, upon payment of a fee, could purchase individual slots on the mainline. This has led to the growth in companies offering charter trains, and to the rail tour. Most rail tour operators run services in part of the country, however, there are a handful that operate services nationwide. Usually, these will see a train made up of XBR rolling stock pulled by a hired locomotive from one of the freight companies. Occasionally, a preserved XBR locomotive that is certified to run on the mainline will be made available for such charters. Topic: 
Topic: Sea links. A number of coastal railway stations in the United Kingdom serve to provide connections to ferry services to a number of destinations. Most of the ferry operators in these cases set their timetable to run in conjunction with the arrivals and departures of rail services from the stations serving the ferry terminals. A handful of these even offer integrated pricing for both rail and ferry travel. Because the island line is part of the national rail network, passengers can purchase tickets for travel to any of the stations on the Isle of Wight from any other station in Great Britain. This ticket also covers the cost of passage on the Whitelink catamaran from Portsmouth Harbour to Ride Pier Head. It is also possible to purchase ferry-inclusive tickets from any station in Great Britain to Cowes or East Cowes on the Isle of Wight using Red Funnel ferries, although there are no rail connections from these towns. <laughs> <laughs> International operators There are two main international services which operate on the railways in the United Kingdom. Eurostar, runs between London St Pancras, Paris Gare du Nord and Bruxelles Gare du Midi, Brussels Zuid Station through the Channel Tunnel. Enterprise, operates on the Irish network between Belfast Central and Dublin Connolly. A third service which is worth mentioning is Dutch Flyer Galundin in the Netherlands. This is not a separate rail service in itself, as the others are, but a collaboration between Greater Anglia, Stina Line and Nederlandse Spoorwegen to provide an integrated rail, sea, rail service between Eastern England London Liverpool Street, Cambridge, Norwich and the Netherlands Amsterdam Central using a single ticket. A further international service is provided by Venice Simplon Orient Express. Although this is primarily a rail tour operator, with special trains to various locations in the United Kingdom, it also operates the scheduled Orient Express service to destinations in Europe. This involves two separate trains, the British Pullman departs from London Victoria and terminates at Folkestone West, where passengers transfer by coach through the Channel Tunnel to Calais, at Gare de Calais Ville, they then join the Orient Express which then calls at various destinations including Paris, Vienna, Innsbruck, Venice and Rome. In other countries The differentiation between train operating companies and railway infrastructure companies was enforced by European Union legislation and can be found in all EU member countries. In Germany, train operating companies Eisenbahnverkehrsunternehmen, EVU, are defined by General Railways Act 1993, S. 2-1 Allgemeines Eisenbahngesetz AEG, enacted 27 December 1993 as companies providing train services. They are distinct from Eisenbahninfrastrukturunternehmen (EIU), which own and maintain the railway infrastructure. While there are many private EVU that have obtained regional franchises, only a handful of long-distance EVU exist. The largest by fare being DB Fernverkehr. The infrastructure is also almost completely owned by Deutsche Bahn subsidiaries. Topic. See also. List of companies operating trains in the United Kingdom Rail transport in Great Britain Rail transport in Ireland Rail delivery group